What's up guys? Uh, I'm going to be doing a my weight loss journey video here in a second. Talking about uh, weight loss and mental health and what connections they have and uh, everything. Remember, I'm not a doctor. So everything I say is just my opinion or things I've learned through life. Uh, but back out on my walks. Uh, so keep pushing, keep moving forward. What's up guys, Big Bear 37, back at you with a real quick weight loss journey video. Uh, as you guys can tell, I'm back on my walks, back trying to get uh, worked out, back trying to get stuff in order. Um, I am going to give you a quick health update real quick. Um, I did have a swallow test and it looks like I have a severe case of acid reflex. That's what's been causing the chest pain. Uh, so that's, you know... Yeah, it's acid reflex. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't wish I didn't have it. But that's better news than what we were expecting. Um, so I'm taking it as a blessing right there. Um, so now we know what we can deal with. I'm probably going to have to have a scope put down and check out the rest of my stomach just to make sure. But that's what it looks like. The main focus is, the main problems look to be that. Uh doesn't look like I have a hyena hernia, so that's a positive also. But... With that being said, that is the health update. That's what's going on right now with the testing that we've done. Uh, so I'm excited about that. I'm happy about that. That, and I'm not happy that I got acid reflex, but I'm happy that it's not the heart. So uh, we just got to continue to work better, get healthier, and get that heart working right. So with that being said, we're going to talk weight loss journey. Um, I am back on the walks. I am getting better. I am getting healthier as we go. I am very close to being at that 500 mark. Uh, that's right. But you, once we go below that 500 mark, like I said already, we're having a party here. We may do a live stream, I don't know yet, but we are going to have a party each time we reach a milestone uh, like that. So be ready for that because I'm excited. Um, but today we're going to talk about something special, something dear uh, to me, um, weight loss, journey, and mental health. They go hand in hand. Um now, a lot of people don't talk about this aspect of a weight loss journey, this aspect of trying to lose weight, uh, the mental health aspect. Uh, because there's a lot of people who eat, and, and, and I should write this stuff down, and I'm, I'm thinking about getting me a notebook for these videos, just so I have all my key points, and I know where I'm, I'm going with this. So I may forget something, and apologies if I do. If I do, I will probably try to bring it up later on. But there are different reasons why people eat. One, out of habit. Two, depression. Uh, a lot of people don't think that's a real thing, but it is. You get feeling down and food is your comfort and you turn to food. Um, it's a big comfort for a lot of people. It was a big comfort for me for years. I would turn to food. I would start feeling down. I would turn to food. I would start feeling just, oh, I'm out of it. I would turn to food. Uh, it was the one thing that comforted me. It was like a blanket for me. Um, and that's part of that mental health. Um and, and a lot of people look at the word mental health as a bad, as a bad uh, word, but it's not because it's something that everybody deals with. Everybody has their own mental health uh, and some, some have uh, other issues they need to deal with. Uh, and inside of a weight loss journey, um, I'm trying to choose my words wisely here, but out of a weight loss journey, I have some issues and some things I have to deal with Uh to allow me to lose weight. For the longest time, I had tried. I tried every diet. I tried every fab pill that you could find. I tried every drink. I tried everything. Could not lose weight. But when I finally accepted that it was my fault that I was at weight in the first place, when I finally accepted my responsibility, I realized now I needed to start working to get better. Now I need to find what works for me. And that help push me to that limit, help push me to where I needed to get. And I've been losing weight since. Uh, and I've, and I've, and again, due to, uh, due to mentally thinking sometimes I have fallen off that wagon. I have gone back up. Uh, you guys remember I was below 500 pounds once before. And what did I do? COVID hit and I gave up. I gave up on my dieting. I gave up on my lifestyle. I gave up on everything and I turned around and started eating unhealthy again. And before I knew it, I was at 560 again. I was headed right back up to 600 pounds. And when I weighed and saw 560 on the scale, I think it was like 561 total, I knew, whoa, what happened? 
I've made the change and I came back too. I finally realized that I opened my eyes and I said, hey, this is my fault. Let's get back to it. And that's the thing about mental health is, it, it you know, it could be viewed as a bad thing, but it also needs to be viewed as a thing that we got to deal with. And that when you're dealing with someone that's dealing with these issues, you got to realize that it's not, you may find it easy to lose weight. And I have people come up to me all the time, oh, it's easy to lose weight. You know how discouraging and how much that brought me down because I didn't find it as easy. I didn't find it where I was able to just turn on that button and start losing the weight. I struggled. It it's something you have to you have to work through and, and realize that hey, it's there. Those mental challenges are gonna be there. Your physical challenges are always gonna be there. Those mental challenges are always gonna be there. They're not going nowhere. You're gonna have those obstacles. You're going to have your physical, your mental, your spiritual. You're going to have those obstacles. You're going to have those family members who are going to bring the food around you. But you have to mentally choose to eat that food or not. You're going to have the family members who's bringing the a pizza, bringing the chips, bringing the soda, bringing whatever. You got to make the choice. You got to say, can I? Should I? Would I? You're always going to have... Those stumbling blocks. You're always going to walk into a store and go, hey, I used to eat that ice cream. I'm really craving it. You're always going to have that. You're always going to have those, those, those moments in your life where you look back and go, well, you know, uh, what am I doing this for? You're going to get feeling down. It's going to come. <sighs> but it's going to go just as easy. You, you have to push past that. I keep telling everybody, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. And that's what that means. Push past that. Push past that temptation. Push past that mental block. Push past that stumbling. And you can do it. That's all I got, guys. Just remember that we got to continue to push. We got to remember that the... the in your journey, in your weight loss journey, there will be a mental health issue. There will be something there mentally that's going to try to hold you back. That's going to try to hold you down. That's going to try to chain you up. It's going to try to lock those chains around your hands and your feet. And you know what? Try to drag you down underwater. But you can make that choice to say, hey, I'm free and it's time to move on. Is it going to be easy to make that choice? No. Is it going to be easy to push? No. If it was easy, we would have to keep saying, keep pushing. <coughs> Sorry. If it was easy, we would have to come on and make these weight loss journey videos. Because why make them? Everybody should be skinny then, right? Everybody should, that wants to lose weight should be losing weight. Everybody who wants to lose weight should have those stumbling blocks. Everybody who wants to lose weight should be able to do it with ease. But it's not that easy, is it? So keep pushing. We love you guys. Don't forget to keep uh, pushing. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. So don't forget to love your loved ones, but always cherish those moments. No matter how big, no matter how small, cherish those moments because you never know when those moments are going to end. I love you guys. God bless you. Until the next time, you get out there, you work at it, you work hard, and keep pushing. God bless you. Peace. Hey guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on the video. Let's have a conversation down in the comment section below. Um, keep pushing, keep moving forward. And uh, thank you guys for watching this video. And uh, hopefully if you're watching this, you've watched it all the way through. So God bless you guys. Don't forget to love your loved ones. But also don't forget to cherish life and every memory you make in it. Love you.